we were thinking, how might this building be a place where people could begin journeys into science, people that may not ordinarily see themselves going to a science museum. Once you get people in, you can really get them excited about science, but you need to get them over the threshold. So we decided that we would have an aquarium at the heart. People may be frightened of physics, but they're not frightened of fish. So it's an easy way to get them in. The existing institution in Miami was beloved, but very aged, very small. We really needed to move to a better location. And Miami had this ambition to create a new cultural quarter and heart in the center, clustered around the downtown and the waterfront. The Science Museum uh, is not a single building, but it's more like a, a small village, like a campus. In South Florida, tropical climate, you have hot, humid summers, but you have pretty much constant prevailing winds that come in unobstructed from the ocean and pass by through our site. The museum opens itself to that pervading wind direction and it is almost sculpted to allow the wind to move around the building. So we put the entire building circulation into the exterior. It reduces the amount of energy that we need to use to, to condition the space or what usually would be corridors. In our case, are balconies arrayed around a sort of central courtyard, which is like a street. I really like their sense of how the public would flow. That you kind of see where you wanted to go and you could just go, you know. You can go up to the top floor and look in both directions to see the city on the one side and then across the park to the ocean on the other. There are very few public buildings in Miami where you do get these wonderful views. There's a journey that the visitor travels through of all the different ecosystems of South Florida and beyond. One of the strongest design features is the idea that we could view into habitats from multiple vantage points. You first of all see them from eye level looking to the ground, as you might encounter them in the natural habitat. As you work your way down into the building, you'll get porthole viewing windows into the same environment. You get slowly drawn in from light to dark to immersed underwater. The experience culminates looking from below up into the tank. It's important to have these moments of mystery. We wanted to create that sensation that you have when you really don't know where the distance is and it's a very blue and calm and beautiful thing and then fish appear out of that depth. With every other large tank in the world, you'd camouflage the backdrop to imply a sense of infinity. And we took a very, very different approach working with Tom Hennis of Think Design. The sides recede away from you and that your field of view is entirely through water. <laughs> was probably the biggest challenge um, that I've ever faced as an architect. I mean, putting 500,000 gallons of water and living species in this suspended martini glass, and also, you know, the huge structure that's holding the whole thing up is being revealed as well. One of the things we liked about the Grimshaw design was the fact that they use materials which are fairly standard, but in subtle and different ways, which gives a delight to the building that you wouldn't have otherwise. The skin for the living core comprises these large circular tiles that are randomly organized from a flat surface tile to one that's slightly convex to one that's slightly concave. When you look at them in different lighting conditions, they really come alive. By working with a limited number of different elements, we animate the facade in a way which can be also perceived 
by someone who's driving by the museum in a car at a higher speed. If you drive past on the freeway, your sight is taken by the planetarium. It's a simple ball, if you like, but it is very visible and obvious, so people will recognize it very easily, and it kind of links the Earth with the, the future and the stars. I think it's an inspirational building. The way it introduces science is different, and I think the beauty is a really important component that will give people a special experience they won't have anywhere else.